Hi Virgo, I'm Jennifer Angel. This is my tarot reading for you for the week of February the 27th. I noticed tarot readings are quite popular so I thought I would uh, do a week, see how that turns out. Let me know if you like it. If you do, I'll uh, continue. All right, so I'm using a pack called the Psychic Tarot Oracle Pack by John Holland. Okay, so um, it's not a traditional tarot. It's one of my favorites. I'll probably use a different pack each week, but this is definitely one of my favorite packs that I, I love to use. Now, I've selected five cards. Mental Conflict, Disruption, Spiritual Strength, Light, and Awareness. The numbers on the cards are 2, 16, 9, 19 and 1. Okay, so when I look at all this together, um, it, 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 okay, it means that try not to get too involved in um, what you think is going to happen and what you think is should happen. So we've got like the mental conf conflict card and the spiritual strength. So you, and in the middle, it's like the number seven. So it's, it's like, you know, things will happen. Things have a way of working out Virgo. Okay. So don't drive yourself nuts with it because apart from Capri uh, Capricorn, who, which I am, um, we're the two signs that have the worrying, you know, gene. We love to worry about things. I have a girlfriend that always says, well, you know, you've got to worry about something, you know. So try to let go of the worrying because this is a great time astrologically. There's so much much, you know, fabulous things happening at the moment. We've got this um, solar eclipse. We've had two eclipses, lots of energy in the astrological chart. So the cards are telling me to, okay, you need to, you're an earth sign. You need to get organized and think things through, but don't overanalyze. Leave some space there for the universe to come through. Now, even if that makes you feel a little bit um, uncomfortable, hence disruption in your life, then it's really to feel vulnerable about what's happening in your life is opening a doorway and recognizing that, okay, I'm vulnerable and that means I'm growing, okay? So if you don't be vulnerable and sink back, be vulnerable and recognize it and open it up and be awareness because the other two cards we've got here, you know, are awareness and light. And, you know, once you are able to have that awareness of how you're feeling and be able to sit um, and feel the any uncomfortableness in your life because that feeling of uncomfortableness and my spiritual teacher John Shaw, John Mark Shaw says that's that messiness part of life, that chaos, which means you're about to step into a new reality, okay? So be aware of that, feel comfortable in the uncomfortable stage and that opens up to a great deal of light. And the numbers on that are one and nine. Nine is the closing off. And that's what the lunar eclipse did for us a couple of weeks ago. And the one is opening up. Okay. So... I hope you like that reading. I hope it's been helpful. Do let me know if you'd like me to continue. Um, love and luck. I hope you have a fabulous week and we'll see you next week.